So welcome back guys to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to show to you how to create tab groups interactions using variants and uh, I forgot them. What is the component called? Uh, something components. <laughs> interactive components. There we go. So using interactive components, we're going to create tab groups and basically it will show like this. Like that. So yeah, it's fairly easy to do, but might take some time. And this can work as a carousel, but everyone hates that. So as a like text change or as a tab group, like these things. So yep, let's get started. So this thing will appear here inside there. So we have here the dog moves, sitting down, looking up, and sit, look down. So. Let's just have this one group like this. So the so here we see that the white here is actually just fifty percent. So it will switch the opacity later on. So we'll we're gonna label this one as um oh let's label this one's arrow. Arrow and this one as the dog moves there we go and we have our dog here so what we're gonna do first is have these dogs these dogs we're gonna create them as a group okay so we're gonna align them like this and we're just gonna create them as a group and be sure that they are distributed properly like uh distributed horizontal spacing like that so they have the same spacing in between them so let's just have this one at 50. and then after that we're just going to select them all and just group them first there we go and after grouping them we're gonna make a mask for this one so let's just place this one first here there we go and this one here on the side there align be sure to align always okay and have these dogs inside the frame sitting like that so it's okay to not mask it just put it in behind to do the animation but to be safe so that if you're gonna switch colors we need to have it like so we're gonna have these ones like this just gonna switch like that. The arrow will go down, and I'm gonna switch like this, and the arrow will go down. Okay. So now we're gonna have a mask. So let's let's just see if it looks good. I'm gonna make it a little bit lower. Have this one copy, and then paste it a bit there, and we're gonna create it a mask as in this group. So right click and Use mask. And you see the mask group there? You're gonna see like dogs. Dogs. And switch it to the first one first. There we go. So now, what we're gonna do is have all of this stuff, all of this, and make it into a component. So let's just duplicate them and go create a component. What I want, what I always do when I create a component like these ones, whites, I just make a fill first for the component and make it like the same background, uh, visible actually a visible background for it, like that thing. So now we're gonna create a variant of it, like two more variants, one and two. There we go. Oh wait, you don't have to. <laughs> create a background first you, you need to create two variants and after you create two variants you will this uh, component variant now have it like a fill of black so that you can see them so now what we're going to do the first variant you see here the default one and then we're going to do to the second one we're just going to move Double click until you reach the arrow and move it down there. 
on the sit and look up. And now this will be like 100% opacity and this one will be 50% opacity. And this guy, the masked dog guy, we're just going to move it to this. So there's a bit okay. And then you're, you can see where we're going in this one. We're just going to move this one and move this one down. The arrows down. Have the opacity higher. And then. Basically, we're doing tab groups. There we go. So these are the three components right now. The three, one component, but three variants. And what we're going to do is just duplicate this one. Click here and Alt, Shift, and Drag. Alt, click and drag, not Shift and Drag. Alt, click and drag to there. But these things have not yet been prototyped, okay? So what we're going to do is just prototype it inside. So we're going to click here on the setup. And just prototype it. Go to the prototype. This will be visible now and do a noodle down it, below it, and just do a smart animate. So change to variant 2, smart animate. And then next will be the sit, look down. Add a noodle. Going down. And smart animate. And the last one is sit down going up there and we're just gonna create all of them actually so sit down uh going down here sit down look down that's when we go here so that's all animated so let's see what it looks like just hit play here and actually it's in my other screen wait uh let me just show it to you you can see now with this kind of prototype and our positioning of the mask, if we click here, if we go down, the opacity will lower there, the opacity will lower there and move there. Oh wait, this is much too low. So I just do that. So there you go. Basically what you did there is we have prototype how a tab interaction would look like. So basically this is just a tab interaction. And then we use masking to change change the content on this side. So if you want to not use this thing, but use a photo, you can do that very easily. Like, let's just grab a photo from Google. So for example, this one is a photo. Let's move it like that. Let's delete this one. I have a photo band there. Delete this one. Have a photo to bend there. And the last one here. Delete this one. Have a photo of bend. So if those are images, it will just show like that. And you can do a timer, so it's like a carousel, but everyone hates carousel, so don't do that. So it's like this. And you can also have it like in text. So that's it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. This is like a very basic tutorial again by using variants as tab groups. So yeah, be sure to hit the like button if you like this tutorial and subscribe if you want more Figma tutorials. I'll be sharing this one and the link under the description so that you can edit them and just dabble with them. So that's it guys. Sorry for the long video and sorry for the delays for the video. I've been just busy with work and stuff. So yeah. Stay safe everyone and have a good one.